Tonight, we pay tribute to the Canucks' 11th captain. The franchise's, yeah, whenever you want. <laughs> Now, as we move along, if we can direct your attention to the video board, the reason we're here, let's take a look at the tremendous career of Marcus Naslin. Great memories. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Naslin family. Begin and Ula.
Marcus's sister, Diana, and his son, Alex. His daughters, Rebecca and Isabella. His wife, Lota, and the man of the evening, welcome him home, Marcus Naslin. You want to suit up tonight? You look like you could still play, buddy. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we are fortunate tonight to have many of Marx's friends and teammates here to help celebrate on this special occasion. However, there was one person who really wanted to be here for the occasion, but couldn't. So let's go to the video board for this special message. Uh, sorry I can't be here tonight. I um, happen to be in New Jersey playing with the uh, Detroit Red Wings right now. But uh, first of all, I'd like to take this opportunity uh, to congratulate uh, Mr. and Mrs. Naslin for um, quite the achievement your son's having. Um, anytime a jersey goes up in the rafters and you see your uh, son's last name up there, uh, you should be very proud. Uh, to Lada, Isabella, Rebecca, and Alex, uh, your father was not only a tremendous hockey player, he was an awesome husband and a terrific friend and a terrific father. Uh, you guys should be very proud of him for what he's accomplished. Uh, and as for you, um, it hasn't been the same. It's been weird every time I stepped on the ice and looked over the left side and not had 19 coming down the wing. It's been quite the adjustment. And, and uh, you've been missed on my left-hand side, bud. Um, I just want to congratulate you for everything you've done, everything you've become, and for what you've done for this city. Uh, I know the city of Vancouver and its fans are proud of you. And you've not only been a tremendous player on the ice, but off the ice as well. The way you and your family have dedicated yourselves to the community of Vancouver and to, in our eyes, uh, the greatest hockey fans in Canada. So for you, bud, I want to salute you. The only way I know how is to cheers you, bud. You're welcome. You're big time missed by me. And uh, for you, I'll put this on one more time. Our thanks to Todd. Not only did the city of Vancouver officially name this Marcus Naslin Day, but, but earlier this morning, the new Canucks Hall of Heroes was unveiled. This is an interactive exhibit located near section 316. It captures the greatest moments, highlights, and community work throughout the careers of Stan Schmiel, Trevor Linden, and now Marcus Naslin. Exclusive and authentic memorabilia from the three featured heroes is included in the exhibit, courtesy of contributions from the players and their families. So check it out, it is very cool, 316.
Now, throughout their 12 years here in Vancouver, the Naslin family was devoted to supporting Canucks signature charities. For many years, Loda served as director of the Canucks for Kids Fund, and Marcus hosted underprivileged children in Nazi's Sweet 19. They were both deeply connected with Canuck Place and BC Children's Hospital. Marx's ongoing support of BC Children's Hospital and the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Program helped remove some of the negative stigmas that surround patients dealing with mental health issues. In recognition of this commitment to the community shown by yourself, Marcus, by Lota, and your family, the Canucks for Kids Fund will create a sports equipment center in your honor. This center will provide much-needed equipment and storage so that the mental health inpatients can enjoy time playing outside. Exercise, recreation, and activities play an important role in the, tr in the treatment of children cared for in the Child and Youth Mental Health Program. So Marcus, on behalf of the Canucks for Kids Fund, this plaque you see here, shown on the video board, will be attached to the Sports Equipment Center in your honor and will serve an inspiration to the patients and caregivers who will benefit from using it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome the President and General Manager of your Vancouver Canucks, Mr. Mike Gillis. Thank you, John. It's an honor to be here tonight, recognizing my good friend, Marcus. This is truly a special occasion for me. It's made even better having Lotta here, children, family, and close friends to share this memory with him. When I was first introduced to Marcus, it was towards the end of the 97-98 season. He wasn't playing a lot, and he was struggling to establish his career. And when I spoke to him on the phone, he said to me that I shouldn't waste my time. In all likelihood, I am going to return to Sweden at the end of the season and not come back. It was kind of an odd thing to hear from a young player, but I thought, well, I'll give it some time. And he'll change his mind. Second time I spoke to him, he said to me, you know, you shouldn't waste your time. In all likelihood, I'm going to Sweden at the end of the season, and I'm not coming back. Again, strange. The third time we spoke, he told me, you know, I really hope you won't waste your time. In all likelihood, I'm going to Sweden at the end of the season, and I'm not coming back. It was like dealing with a Swedish groundhog. Every, every day was, was different, but it somehow remained the same. The fourth time we spoke, I had a plan. I suggested I would watch his remaining games and decide for myself whether I was wasting my time or not. Marcus thought about that for a minute, and he said, you know what, I really don't want you to waste your time. In all likelihood, I'm going to Sweden at the end of the season, I'm not returning. He's quiet but stubborn. Over those couple of games, I saw some things that were obvious. First, Marcus was incredibly talented. Second, like many young players, he was not very confident. He was struggling to live up to his own high expectations. I believe that if Marcus returned to Sweden and didn't come back, he'd be making a mistake that he might regret for the rest of his life. Lucky for all of us, Marcus decided to stay and focused on how to get better. The following season, he returned in great shape. However, not a whole lot changed. He was a healthy scratch early, wasn't playing a whole lot, and then some injuries occurred. Needless to say, Marcus made the most of the opportunity he got. He went on to score 36 goals that season and lead the Vancouver Canucks in scoring. He 
He went on to become an integral part of the West Coast Express, which defined hockey in Vancouver during that period. He went on to become a leading goal scorer in the National Hockey League. He went on to become a first-team All-Star. And he went on to become the captain of your Vancouver Canucks. He went on to become the Lester B. Pearson Award winner. The most outstanding player in the league is voted by his peers. And finally, he went on to become the leading scorer in Vancouver Canucks history. He accomplished these things with character, humility, and compassion, with a clear sense of community and giving back, always leading by example. Marcus, tonight's a reflection of your passion as a player and your commitment to Vancouver. We are honored to recognize you, along with Stan Schmiel and Trevor Linden, as the only three players in Canuck history to have their sweaters retired. <laughs> On behalf of the Aquilini family and all of us at Canuck Sports and Entertainment, we are thrilled to present you with a trip for two to the opening ceremonies of the 2012 Summer Olympics in London and two tickets to watch the Olympic tennis at Wimbledon. I'd like to ask you to come up here, Marcus, with Francesco, Roberto and Paolo and join me in this special presentation. In addition to the trip, the Canucks are also pleased to present you with this original watercolor painting commissioned by local artist Glenn Green. We'll bring you guys over here. Yep. Thanks, Francesco. Thank you, gentlemen. If we can get you to retake your seats.